hi aries welcome back welcome back to the channel it's always a blessing to have you right back here today's reading is all about you you know you are in fact a diamond please go ahead and shine beautiful and bright like a diamond also please make a friendly note my darlings hold on now because i think i did not put my mic in hold on hold on let me put my mic in i'll be right back okay i think it's in all right uh, please make a funny note that the that if this reading does not resonate to your present situation, please do not get her offended or in your feelings. It only simply means that the reading is not for you today. Uh, ever if you choose to come back another day, that one just might be. Hold on again, y'all. Let me uh, push my door because my doggy, my fur baby, just opened it up. Hold on. Okay, y'all. Ali girl is back again. <laughs> All right. Please go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. Um, let YouTube know that you in fact like the videos because when you like it, they'll push it through into a much wider audience and the channel will grow and the video will also grow. For all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and for the support that you show each and every single day. I do see the love, y'all, and let me tell you, I appreciate the love. Now, please make a note that the card has been shuffled and the card has been blessed, but before I get into your reading or prayer is a must. I'm going to get into a quick pray and get right on into your reading. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let me move my mic again, y'all. Put it a little bit closer to me. Just to make sure that you guys can hear me. You know what I mean? All right. All right, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay. Okay, my darlings. This is your mega reading for today. Today is Sunday. Happy Sunday to each and every single one of you. I hope you're doing amazing. I hope you're doing fabulous and blessed. Please know that this reading will not resonate for every one of you, okay? Take what resonates and relieve the rest. Also, it could go for your personal energy, past, present, or future person. It could even go for the cross watchers, for the ones who are watching, okay? If you need to have a personal reading set up with me, please go ahead and check the description part of this video, and you'll see exactly how to connect with me to have a personal reading done. Okay. Thanks to everyone for your prayers. Um, for my thumb. And again, I'm not wearing my thumb splint today. Give it a break again, all right? Just for the sake of the, the video. All right, y'all. Enjoy what are the messages here for Aries, please. What are the messages here? What is it that you need to share with Aries, please? What are the messages here for Aries, please? What are the messages here for Aries, please? Messages to Aries, Aries person, Aries person's energy, and all that is affiliated with Aries and their person. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, messages, please. Aries person and all who is associated with Aries and their person. All right. So my darlings, I'm seeing a situation coming in towards you here in the Queen, Queen of Cups here. It's calling for healing. It's definitely calling for healing. And I'm, I'm getting a feeling like someone may be having health issue or someone may be not feeling very well here. Okay. I'm feeling like it's not like you're, you're sick, you're feeling sick. Or there's such a health issue. I feel like most of you is like pulling that energy towards you. Okay. Something is making you feel like you're very ill and you're really not ill here. You're not what you're feeling like you're not well i'm getting i'm feeling not like i'm not well I'm, I'm getting sick symptoms you're not you're not sick okay you're not sick you just have an issue around you there's an issue that is going on around you to have you feel you're draining your energy making you feel like you're sick yep 
because I'm getting um, that you're holding this still you're holding something together here you're holding there's something in your circle that you've been holding in you're holding on to it and you're definitely trying to keep things together here holding for their life here is what I'm see you doing it's, it's draining your energy and making you feeling like you're really really sick tired beat up burnt out is what you're feeling here I feel like someone is having you wait here. I feel like someone is having you wait or you're ch kind of choosing, trying to make a decision to wait for a situation, maybe for some of you for, to change, the situation to change here. I feel like, you're, feel like you're done waiting here, okay? And the reason why I feel like you're done waiting, you don't want to wait, is because you spend most of your time just trying to hold things together here, Right? You feel like you're holding things together by yourself. Like you're doing this alone. You're feeling alone. You're definitely trying to keep your sanity and the things around you that seems to be falling apart here. Right? I feel like maybe for some of you, there's a divorce coming in around you here. The justice card is here, right? It's either telling me there's a separation going on or someone wants a divorce or someone, um, maybe this is in progress here. A sense of uh, sadness here in the justice card here. Someone wants a divorce. Someone wants to be separated here. Hmm. Oh, someone, def someone is very unhappy here. I'm seeing. I'm feeling. I'm so sad here. Someone is very sad. Very sad feeling here. Yeah. Someone is definitely handing the relationship. Someone is. Someone is choosing. To end something here, the justice card, the judgment card is here. All right, the page of wands is also here. The judgment card did show up in the reverse. The justice card is also in the reverse. Okay, the seven of swords is here. The three of cups in the reverse. I'm also getting the six of swords here in the reverse. Yeah, someone definitely wants to end the relationships. If this is a marriage, someone is definitely thinking about ending this marriage here. If someone wants to end it. Someone does not want to be in this marriage anymore, okay? Or in this relationship. For some of you, if you're not married to this person, it feels like a marriage because you've been with this person for a while, okay? I feel promise. This relationship is built on a promise here. Um, on a vow and a commitment that was what that once was for some of you Aries. Someone is, is making a choice to end the relationship. Someone wants to move forward, move on. Okay, so there's definitely a third party coming in. I feel like this person that is planning on moving on are desperate to move on. I feel like they met someone. They did meet someone here because I'm getting third party coming through here, okay? There's a third party situation that's going on. So someone definitely met someone, found someone, or connected with someone, reconnected or something, okay? But there's definitely someone else in the picture here. If this person is not having um, a sexual relations with this person, this is a connection that they're forming here. This third party situation here is starting to build fire, right? I see fire igniting with this third party here. Now, I do see that there's no trust here. Trust has been lost here. I do feel like for some of you, a person might have told you some fail, fail, fail to tell you the truth, but also told you something that was false, something that maybe wasn't true here. I feel like the, whatever it is that you thought was so was false because there's a situation that is having you feel like you're very sick. And this is what I'm getting in the seven of swords here you need to investigate that situation the situation is calling for some serious investigation here right i'm also getting the um that the decision um maybe has not been made yet the decision has not been made yet okay so somebody might not have made a decision to um realize and then take the steps into what they need to do here even though things just seems to be falling apart, I feel like someone is still kind of holding on here, okay? Someone is definitely holding on here. 
have not made a decision. Know within themselves because their intuition is, is kicking in to high gear and saying, this is what's going on. This is the reality of the situation. A decision needs to be made, but someone is still not ready to make one. Page of Wands, all right? I'm seeing this person being a very attractive person for some of you. Um, very, um, let's just say sexy, full of passion, okay? This young energy here is a very um, sexual and sensual, all right? Um, they like to share their body, okay? Their body parts because they're very good at sharing, all right? If that makes any sense to most of you, all right? But this person uh, being a young energy is also can be a very dangerous one here. They, they're a lover. They're very much a lover here and they know what they do, but they could be dangerous. And I feel like for you, um, with this energy, this page of wands here, you have to be very careful at this present moment how you tend to share. Um, not just uh, an, a physical aspect of sharing, but also a mental access uh, of, of sharing, okay? But this energy is what I'm feeling here. Yep. In your present, I am getting the Seven of Cups here. The Seven of Cups being here in your present is literally just let me know here um, for some of you, uh, Aries, that this person is definitely either uh, sleeping with other people or they have intentions of sleeping with other people or they have already done it, still doing it damn well, did it damn, you know what I mean? They're still doing something. They're out there doing something, all right? Is what they're doing, okay? They're definitely sleeping with other people here. All right? And I, I'm getting, for some of you, you might have known this. Your intuition either already told you. For some of you, I feel like you've already seen this. You kind of felt it. You've seen it. You've maybe seen a text message. Maybe you have checked their social media and seen them going back and forth in the DMs with other people. I feel like this person might have already been caught, okay, in a lie, in a betrayal, still trying to hold things together here, even though you, your intuition and, and has passed this the, in a, another level of I already know, all right? Yeah, a lot of you, what I'm saying right now, you already know that this person is cheated on you. This is just another confirmation of your intuition already that, that already told you this person was already doing something um, very deceitful towards you. Deceitful with other people is what they're doing, okay? In your presence here, I'm also getting um, this person, they might have a bond in you, okay? A bond in you in the sense of the way that they separated their energy from yours was heartbreaking. It was very heartbreaking. You had to deal with a lot um, with this entire situation at hand. Um, it was just embarrassing. A feeling of the humiliation here. You were humiliated. Um, couldn't really understand what was going on. Um, some of you, you kind of felt that it was coming, but you didn't know that it would have become this harsh. This person could have been so mean towards you. Yeah. I feel like some of you, your person might have already moved on to someone else. Uh, maybe married to someone else. Or maybe this person might have been married to someone else. But I see marriage coming through. I already seen divorce coming through already in the justice card being in the reverse. And I'm, already, I'm also getting marriage again here in your devil card here, okay? I'm feeling that this person is toxic, or if this person isn't toxic, it's the people in their circle, in their environment is toxic. Um, I'm seeing drugs. Um, it could be this person maybe drinking, or this person maybe having um, a sexual maybe addiction. I feel sexual addiction, all right? I'm seeing this person is definitely toxic, um, or the people that is in their circle is very toxic here what I'm feeling here in the devil card being here okay I'm getting the full card also being here in your present in your present in your now with this uh, person and their situation coming towards you with their energy I'm seeing someone needs either needs to be moving with caution or is trying to or or, or is or I have already moved the caution here someone needs to move with caution here okay Simply because you have to free yourself. 
It's time that you free yourself from what it is that you're feeling. It's time that you free yourself from trying to hold this situation together that has been having you feeling crazy sick. You're not sick. There's nothing wrong with you is what I'm feeling here. You're not sick. You're just love sick. Okay? Love sick is what I'm feeling here. Just free yourself. It's time that you free yourself from what you're going through. I feel like this person have you feeling like you are not able to do just that. Caught up in a in, in a in a love affair here. Okay. Move with caution. Yeah. I feel like you definitely need to make a choice here in your present. I feel like there's definitely a delay in you making that choice and walking away from it. Okay. I feel like it's time that you do that because if you don't um, try to make that choice for yourself and walk away from it, I definitely see where your person is going to make a permanent choice and walking away with this third party because this third party is very, I'm picking up this third party is very strong. All right. I'm seeing that they may be still jealous um, about you. I'm seeing jealousy. Okay. When I put this jealousy, I'm getting no help. So if this is you that is jealous over your person and then being with this third party, your person is not there to help you financially or in way, any way, shape, or form, all right? I'm seeing that this person may be even taken from you is what I'm feeling. I'm definitely getting... Um, I'm definitely picking up uh, the, the separation here. It's, it looks to me like it's going to be a permanent one. That is very unhealthy, okay? I'm still seeing conflicts even during separation here. Is what I'm getting here. I'm getting conflicts. I'm getting arguments. I'm getting conflicts here. I'm getting people still standing their feelings here. I'm getting it's, time, it's, it's time that you rectify um, what your heart needs and what your heart wants. For some of you is what I'm feeling here. What are the messages here, angels? What are the messages here for Iris, please? Please send me more angels. What are the messages here for Iris, please? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Hmm. So I'm getting the sense of dishonor. I feel like this person here definitely, definitely uh, dishonor your love, your loyalty towards them. I feel like there's definitely been a loss here. I'm feeling like not only is it you, your energy that's feeling this loss, but I feel like there's Definitely others around you that is having a loss as well with this situation here. And I feel like that's why you're trying to hold. Someone is trying to really hold things together here because there's others involved. But someone is definitely out to end something here. Someone is definitely out to end something, not really thinking, not really understanding that, you know, others' are emotions and feelings are caught up here. I feel like someone is being extremely overly and very unsensitive here that's like a feeling of i don't care no i do feel like you're either expecting to hear an apology or to get an apology here but this person doesn't have any faith to come towards you with an apology and the timing is off the timing won't happen right now the apology that you're seeking or that you are yearning for or that you're desiring to hear an apology it's not going to happen right now because there's no faith coming towards you, okay? It's not the time. It's not the time to even have a conversation with this person, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, because this person is still staying in their feelings. They're still staying in their feelings. They're still um, upset, uh, still walking around with a, a massive ego here and still trying to manipulate the situation and having it seems or appear to be like they're in the right Okay, that's what's going on here. 
still staying in separation, want to be in separation. So if you decide to have a conversation, try to make amends and to go back and, and try to fix things here, this person is still um, deciding to be separated by you. Still wanting to be in separation, all right? But stay jealous or having a sense of jealousy or this could be you. Someone is very scared here, okay? Someone is very scared here to release the energy. A sense of feeling afraid, okay? Even to approach a person, to have a certain kind of a conversation with this person, your energy is filled with fear. Fear of rejection, all right? Fear of arguments and quarrels and, 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 and all kinds of bullshit that's coming through is what I'm feeling with this energy here, okay? It's what I'm getting here. Craziness. This person, it's like they just walk around feeling angry. So because they're angry, it's like you're afraid to say certain things to them because you don't want to aggravate the situation because you do want to see if this person will rethink their option, but they're not rethinking their option right now. Their only option right now is to be with this third party and to show anger towards you. Okay? Very angry here. I'm getting, I'm so angry. Why are you angry? Okay. All right. So someone is definitely searching here. All right. So there's definitely no trust. Your trust has been lost. This person has no trust within themselves as well. The high priestess is here in the reverse. Okay. There's definitely no trust here on both ends. They're feeling like they can't trust you as well. I feel like this person think you might've done something as well. Okay. Trying to reverse psychology here, right? I'm feeling that this person is searching for answers. This could be you. Two people searching for answers here, okay? But on a different type of a level. Now, I'm getting there's no commitment here. Um, and I feel like this commitment is has been like this for a minute or a second or two. Um, the commitment has been lost. Let's just say the commitment towards you has been blocked forcefully, okay? Because they definitely met someone else. Someone met someone else. And even if they had um, thought about kind of working things through um, with you, yourself, and this third party, they're going to decide to be with this third party energy at this particular moment. I don't see where this third party is going anywhere right at this particular moment because the, communi the communication between you and this person has been blocked. And I feel like the third party has a lot to do with this communication that has been blocked towards you. So I'm getting that your person is a very, very, very stubborn type of a person here. They're stubborn to the point where um, it's either their way or absolutely no way. Even if they make no sense at what they're saying, it's that's the way how they want things to be. That's the way how they see things going. That's the way how they want it to be. I feel like this person is pretty successful, though. I feel like they kind of have this shit together. Um, however, because this person is so stubborn and, and more of an old type of an energy, um, they have a, a young energy as spirit to weigh the options to see other people. But they have an older energy at wanting and demanding what they want if that makes any sense okay is what i'm getting here in your present okay so they've definitely blocked whatever you have to say um to help this relationship to move any further they have blocked blocked your energy the energy has been blocked they blocked themselves towards you yep blocked in the page of source here in the reverse all right this is what they have done being very cold and mean. Block to help you here. Block to help you in the Knight of Swords. This third party situation is right in the middle of two people right here being blocked, okay? This third party situation, honey, is a disaster. What are the messages here, please? What are the messages here, please? What are the messages here, please? What are the message for Aries, please? Aries person and all who is attached to Aries person and their energy. What are the messages here, please? Angels. 
What are the messages here, please? For Aries, an Aries person, and all who has attached themselves to Aries person and their energy. Queen of Swords here in your present right now. I'm getting communication. Um, you might just need to try to just talk things out if you can, if they would allow you to do that. Um, and just fix those those issues if you can and just move forward. Whether they want to listen or not listen, just say your piece, okay? Because they're so stubborn, they'll pretend like they didn't hear, but they actually do. But they just give you a vibe like they didn't care, that like they don't care. Just go ahead and say your peace and get your peace of mind, all right? Because you can do it, all right? You are a queen of swords in your present. Now, the, hmm, I'm surprised that I got this one, but then again, I'm not surprised. I did get the nine of pentacles here in the reverse. Also got the seven of wands in the reverse, the emperor in the reverse, and the knight of wands being here oh my goodness what a pull okay so this person is just not they're not giving you what they want they're not ready to man to manifest they're not trying to build stability right now with you they're not trying to grow with you right now they're not their true intentions right now is to just be selfish and just to be a manipulator right now um it's just things is just not going right. Things is not going right for you um, and their energy towards you. Things are not going right for them and their energy towards you because it has been blocked because of this third party situation here. The emperor in reverse is also letting me know that this person is very controlling. I'm seeing controlling energy. I'm seeing this person um, doesn't even allow you to have your say so, right? They want to dominate you. They want to take you. They want to take control of situations with just about you and everything in between. I feel like um, someone is either mentally abusive here. I feel a sense of some kind of an abuse, some kind of a mental abuse here. I'm also feeling like this emperor being in reverse. I'm feeling like this person might have cheated on you. Someone has definitely had their fair share of being cheating on and not only been cheating on but like I picked up before someone is kind of knowing that this person is very unfaithful here okay but I'm getting an energy that is coming in towards you okay I'm getting an energy that is coming in towards you right someone is coming into what is someone wants Either to try again someone that you have known from your past. The Nine of Wands here. There's someone coming in towards you here. That either wants to try again. You have was with this person before. Something came up. Separation or whatever. Made a decision to be over here. Or maybe this is in between. People going back and forth with each other. But someone is coming in here. All right, let me have some clarity on this Knight of Wands, please. Let me have some clarity on this Knight of Wands here, please. Who is this Knight of Wands and what is their true intentions coming in towards Aries, please? What are their true intentions coming in towards Aries, please? Let me have some clarity on the Knight of Wands here, please. Being here. What are the messages here? Okay. All right. So this Knight of Wands here, um, that's, that wants to try again with you, I'm feeling it's going to, they're either trying to be patient with you, because I see someone being patient here. The temperance is let me know that this energy, it requires patience. So either you're, you'll have to be patient with them 
or they're the one who's been patient with you, okay? But someone is trying to be patient here. Okay, so this person really, really likes you. They care about you. They want to see what life has to offer with the two of you here, right? This person wants, they want to, to build something with you here. They want to grow with you. They want to get to... To manifest greatness with you, this this Knight of Wands here. They see you as the happy ending here. This person is not playing games. They've been very patient here. Waiting for you to stop trying to hold on to what you were not able to hold on to. But someone is waiting here patiently. Tell me more, please, on this Knight of Wands, please. What are their true intentions towards Aries and those that are connected to their energy? What are their true intentions, please, and those that is connected to their energy? Okay. All right, so I'm feeling like this Knight of Wands here is giving me a feeling like they're feeling like a loser, like they're maybe not good enough for you. Like they feel like maybe um, I feel I feel enough unappreciated here. Like they could be more than what you need, or they want to be all you need. If that makes any sense. Hmm. The Six of Wands in the reverse. They kind of feel embarrassed, maybe feeling the shame of a situation. Maybe you had some kind of a disagreement with this person. Maybe they're because I do get this 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 emperor here. They are more of a stable energy here, okay? But with this Knight of Wands energy that's coming true here, this person might not have the finances that you're either used to, but they're willing to fight for you. Feeling ashamed, feeling like they're a loser here. They feel sometimes like they're the enemy, all right? Because they're not able to give you what you probably need as far as the lifestyle that you want to live. They don't have it to offer. But they want to manifest in your life. This, look, oh my goodness. This person wants to manifest in your life. They want to build a future with you. They want to build stability. They want to build... A family structure. They want to have the happy ending with you. This person is not having a thought for a moment that they are just with you just for sex or just with you just for that moment. This person sees you as the forever. As the forever is what I'm seeing here. But this person is telling me that you're juggling two things here. You're juggling two things. Um, you've been always juggling. You've been juggling two things. What is it? I'm cheese. Yeah, listen. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm -mm. This person is giving me energy like too many things been juggled here. Too many things been juggled here. There's way too many things been juggled here. I'm waiting patiently. I've been waiting patiently. I'm waiting patiently here. How much longer can I wait? This person is juggling relationship and money. Okay? This, this, this energy is telling me that you're juggling uh, relationship and, and money. Because I feel like this person that you are with, they have their money. They have money. Okay? They have money here. They have money. And I feel like you're having a hard time letting go of that money here. But money don't buy happiness. It does not. I could tell you that much, okay? I'm, I could tell it from experience. <laughs> Money doesn't buy love. Mm -mm, doesn't. Not, no way, shape, or form, my darlings. You know, people always say, if you walk in that shoes, you can talk about it. Well, honey, I've walked in that shoes. Money ain't buy love. All right? This, this, someone is juggling uh, two things here. I feel like someone has put uh, true love of, of someone else's on pause here. Because of how you truly really feel about over here and not over here. Okay. All right, angels, let me have some more clarity here, please. What are the messages here, please? What are the messages here, please? 
Okay. All right. So this person is telling me that um, for some reason might, you might not want to take the offer. Someone is not taking the offer here. Um, someone is not um, moving forward with uh, how they how this person really truly feel. This person feels like, okay, no matter what I say, no matter what I do, I feel like um, I'm not going to get the response or do the commitment that I want because someone's mind is already wrapped up over here, all right? Trying to hold things on together here, all right? But it's not going accordingly. And this person is still waiting. Even though this person already sees and knows that shit ain't going right on your part, they have so much love for you that they're still way willing to um to make the sacrifice and wait patiently. I see this person waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting here for their turn to show you true love. Yep, this person wants to build everything with you. This person is kind. Um, this person loves uh, family and friends, all right? This person wants to build the empire. They want to take away your anxiety away from you. For some of you have been struggling with anxiety and depression, all right? They want to be there for you. Look at that. The lover's card is here, okay? The lover's card is here. They want to build and dream with you. They want to give you that passion that you should have had all your life. Is what they're saying here. What are the messages here, please? What are the messages here, please? What are the messages here for Aries, please? honey okay i'm getting the queen of pentacles here the hangman and i'm also getting uh, the ten of cups here in the reverse all right so whatever you've been holding on to here and holding on and holding on and holding on to they already put an end to this dream here right Someone definitely put an end to the dream. Whether, you, whether, whether we like the outcome or not, but someone decided to put an end to the dream. A full stop. Full button. All right? But they do stay over there watching you. They, stu they do stay over there watching you. Even though they put an end to the dream here, they do stay over there spying and watching. Even with the third party in their life, they're still staying in their feelings, being jealous over what you got going on here. Right, watching to see if you're trying to hook up with this uh person who's waiting and waiting, waiting and waiting for you to make a decision with giving them a chance. They stay watching you, even though they're the one who ended everything here, messed everything up here. Okay. I feel like for some of you, you definitely tried your best here. Trying to be kind and trying to give love to the situation here. And that's what you are. You're a queen of pentacles, okay? And that's the energy that you give. But angels are saying here, um, you're going to have to find a spiritual person here. A spiritual person that's going to stay in marriage with you forever. The Hierophant here, okay? Know what you want. You have to know what you want because you are, in fact, a queen of pentacles here, all right? I feel like for some of you, some of you definitely forgotten who you really truly are. You've forgotten your role in yourself, in your life. And that is what I feel is holding you back. It's really holding a lot of y'all back. You know what I mean? The Ace of Wands. Okay. So there's definitely no forward movement here. This person, since separation, they're still in the same foolishness. They haven't changed their ways not having tried, made the attempt to change it, where they're still doing the same thing that they was doing with you. Even with the third party, they're still bringing the foolishness with the third party situation, all right? Because that's their true personality. That is what they bring uh, to a relationship is what I'm feeling here, okay? Not very stable here. Not very trustworthy.
They're not very stable here. All right, yep. So someone's definitely missing their marriage. I'm getting your energy. I'm getting your missing your marriage here. But some of you are definitely married to this person here. But this person is still fighting, all right? They're still fighting their inner demons. They're still fighting their inner demons here. Is what they're still out there doing. Fighting, all right? Hiding their true feelings. Hiding. Trying to hide who they really truly are. And even now, they're still out there being a manipulator and still out there sleeping with other people, is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, well, let me get let me pull another deck, y'all. Because for some of y'all, y'all need to know this. Y'all need to know your next move. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to know your next move, your next motive, and where to go from here. Let me go ahead and pull this deck here and get some some messages from the angels here. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to hear this. Okay. Angels, let's get to work, please. Let's get to work. What are the messages here in the clarity? Moving forward. Right? Moving forward. What are the messages here for Aries? Aries person and all those who are, are connected to Aries energy. What are the messages, please? And all those who are connected to Aries and Aries energy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, balance. Some of this life is calling for balance here. Right? Trying to hold things together. You're trying to hold things together, my darling. Okay? It's what you're trying to do. You're trying to hold things together here, but it's not working in your favor. It feels to me like things are still falling apart, even though you're doing trying to hold things together here. I'm getting the light. I'm getting some of the either feeling lost here. Okay, you need to follow the light. Yeah, you also have to trust your intuition, okay? Just trust your intuition and keep going. Keep moving forward here, okay? Just keep moving. Follow that light. Because I feel for some of you, there's definitely um, help. There's something that's waiting for you at the end of the tunnel. I'm getting pleasure here. I'm getting this person maybe a rule of sex. I'm getting... It's time to indulge in yourself. Okay? It's time to indulge in yourself. It's time to bring out the beast in you. Okay? That's what I'm feeling here. It's time. What are the messages here, please? For Aries. And Aries energy and all those are associated or connected to Aries. We're getting love. All right, I'm getting love here. Love is coming through. I'm getting know your power. Know your passion. The passion that you give is the passion that you receive. I'm getting magic here. Is what I'm getting. Reinforce the situation, okay? That's what you need to be doing. You have to reinforce the situation. Don't let a situation take control of you. You're going to have to take control of that situation and set boundaries here. You're going to have to set some boundaries for yourself. And anyone that enters your space, your circle, your, you, you have to set boundaries. Fresh start is coming. Someone is waiting for you patiently, my darlings. Someone is waiting for you patiently. Someone has always been waiting for you here. But you're busy holding on to a situation that doesn't need to be held on to. Tap into your inner peace, all right? Tap into your inner peace. If it's not giving you peace, let it go. 
If it's not bringing you happiness and joy, then it's time to move on and let it go. If it's making you cry, you let it go. If it's bringing fear, let it go. If you're getting anxious, let it go. Inner peace is what you need. Gratitude is coming through for some of you. I'm getting gratitude here. I'm getting your blessing, highly favor here. I'm getting you forgotten. <laughs> How true the blessed you are. I'm getting you blessed and highly favored here, okay? You have forgotten how powerful you are. You're a queen of pentacles, and you have forgotten your power. What are the messages here for these angels? For angels and all those who are associated with angels, with Aries energy. Good luck is on your side here. I'm getting luck is coming towards you. Luck is coming towards you. Don't put a blind eye anymore. You've blinded yourself for way too long. Putting that blindfold on your eyes. Trying to balance money and love. Release what has been holding you back. Tap into your spiritual guide here. Is what you need to be doing, okay? Tap it into your spiritual being, your spiritual self. You have the power to fight. Keep going. You have the power to fight, Aries. Keep going. Getting resurrection. You will arise from what has been holding you back. Release it. Start new if you have to. You have had your fair share of challenges. Just release that and start new, okay? Start new. It's time to start new. Inner strength. Inner strength. Your strength has been questioned. People think that you're weak. But you're not weak. You're strong. Because if you were weak, you would not have been able to hold all this together. Okay? You're stronger than you think. But now it's time that you hold yourself together. Stop trying to hold on to other people and how they feel and what they want. It is time for you to make yourself happy. Messages, please, for Aries and Aries uh, energy and those who are, are associated themselves with Aries and their energy, please, angels. Your pleasure card is back. Second. Second, y'all. Clarity. Okay. Pleasure is what you need to be tapping into. Your pleasure to reassure that you have in fact had time to indulge and splurge in yourself. Okay. And not others. Angels are saying that it's critical. Listen to the rhythm of your heart. Because something new is about to come towards you. A sense of transformation here. A sense of rebirth. Something new. Right? Listen to the rhythm of your heart. It speaks to you loud and clear. Is what angels are saying here. Your life is also calling for cleansing. Spiritual connection to the higher power. And cleansing as well. Okay? Is what you need to be doing. But at first, you have to release the negative energy that's holding you back here. Angels, let me have some clarity here, please. I'm getting transcendence here. It's coming through very strong. And I'm getting enchantment here, okay? 
Angels are saying that now is the time that you should not be afraid. Use your power to manifest what is it that you need for yourself, okay? Use your power. Because you can do all things. You are strong. You are wise. You, pos you possess something that no one else does. Because at first you have to release the energy and start to rebirth again. And manifest what it is that you need in your life to smile and shine bright like a diamond. Also, my darlings, just know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Just continue to pray and I'll be praying for you as well. Do the same for me. And also, don't forget to give the business a thumbs up for me. I so appreciate that. I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to seek first and you will always find.